today is it has come to day two. Actually, since we're on a different time zone, I think we're getting ready to go into day three of cons, but here in the U.S. it's kind of like it's day two. But of course, the big news that has continues to hit the internet, or actually is it the news is, no, not Donna Summers passing, but Facebook and its IPO. And we're just curious, who's buying? I think that's the biggest question. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And Fox News is in the, and Fox News is in the tank for the president. And the only poll in the nation is showing Obama with a massive lead over Romney. Okay, they brought Rex out today because it is well known that the two greatest admirers of the president of the United States are Bill O'Reilly at Fox News and Rex, who just happens to be Obama. That's his last name, Rex Obama. Um, you know, not, not Tyrannosaurus Rex Obama, but just Rex. I mean, okay, now i got to cover his ears up because every goddamn person in the universe knows the president does not have a, a massive lead over Romney. He, he, he basically, he, he's, in, he's okay, among independents, he's losing. Among women over 30, he's women, losing. Among women that are married, he's losing. Under Hispanics, he's losing. Under blacks, he's losing. Under, you know, uh, he's basically across the board, he is losing. Every single interest group except the unions and the far left and women and men, and actually he's lost the men too, it's just women under 30. He has no support, folks. But Bill O'Reilly, well, I've been told that they're doing this, you know, that this is, you know, that they, they have their own way of doing it. He couldn't explain how it was done. He's supposed to be fair and balanced. The man, Basically, he basically, you know, everybody's corrupt in the business. That, well, he was basically, he did a news report without knowing how they came up with the figures that they came up with that were 100% different than any other polls in the nation. Mm. And Father, Georgia woman with flesh-eating bug wants a book. I, I know, why she wants to write a book about the fact, well, she got hurt by a zip line, got a, got a disease, and is basically eating her away. First of all, he thought what good the book going to do if she's dead, folks. I never heard of a, you know, well, let's see, you're going to lose your hands, going to lose your feet, going to lose your arms. She wants to she wants to write a book about it? Yeah, which means she's dying. So what good is it going to, what money to a dying person, you know, is, is like giving a life raft to a person that drowned. Mm-hmm. And sugar can make you dumb, you as scientists okay. say. Now that's a good one. I have to cover Rex's ear again because the President of the United States is currently in his war against obesity. And in order, how do you stop obesity? One, you don't let them eat it, you know, have them, you cut down all the fast food restaurants. Two, you make certain that all the soft drinks are removed from store shelves. Three, you make all of the candy and sugar is going from stores. And four, you make certain that, um, that Oprah Winfrey is no longer welcome in the White House because Oprah Winfrey eats key lime pie and that makes her that makes her the wrong type of person for Obama's candidates. Just because she used to like to eat one key lime pie a day yeah. when she was on the weight gain? Yeah. I can't believe, I mean, I love key lime pie, eat but one it is a key rich. lime pie with a milk at a time. She would eat a whole pie at a time. And um, George Zimmerman, medical report, reveals injuries. Yeah. Injuries to show that he was physically attacked. There are no other than injuries on the other guy's knuckles, which means he was hitting Zimmerman. Well, the prosecution is very unhappy about these leaks. And the judge, um, I love that, the judge this morning, uh, I would like to know why I was not notified that Mr. Zimmerman was the victim of a physical attack. He said, under the laws of the state of Florida, as a victim of a physical attack, of a much younger, much bigger person. said, okay, the kid they keep showing is 13 years old. That's a 13-year-old picture. He's a big guy. He said, and under Florida laws, he had a reason. He had, a, okay, he got injuries to his back, injuries to his neck, a broken jaw, lacerated cheeks, busted gum, dislocated jaw. Other than that, there was nothing wrong with Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like they, uh, what, like the, the judge said, it looks like the guy beat the hell out of Mr. Zimmerman before Mr. Zimmerman shot him. Mm. Isn't that a great one? Mm -hmm. And um, the mysteries of Easter Island. Well, yeah, the, the mysteries are that, that, that there are no mysteries. That everybody, you've done, okay, what happens is 
if they have a problem on the hit on the, on these channels, they don't have any or anything that actually they have nothing for the History Channel. They have nothing for the Discovery Channel. They don't have anything for PBS. So what do they do? They go revisit something what you didn't know about Easter Island. Uh, like you know, I know the people that actually own Stonehenge. They're revisiting the Stonehenge to find out what you didn't know, and then the next year, Stonehenge uncovered. The next year, Stonehenge new information you didn't know. It means they have. That's why you see so many garbage reality shows on these channels. Is because they don't have anything new to explore. And New York Senate moves to include low poll on child pornography. Uh, basically, that you're not, you're not. Uh, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't close any loophole because the judge already said it is not a crime to look at it. It is a crime to possess it. So what they're going to do? They said it was a crime to look at it. No, you can't. He already said it cannot be a crime to look at it. So they're going to pass a law which the judge has already said can't be, can't be charged with, saying it's a crime to look at it. The judge told them. It is not a crime under the Constitution. But then again, you have to understand, Democrats don't give a rat's ass about the Constitution because, as our president said, that uh, it was written by a bunch of white-haired old men that were out of touch with the rest of society and has taken progressives over 200 years to fix what they did to it. And Warren Buffett's firm buys 10 million shares of GM. The boot, okay, Warren Buffett is supporting the President of the United States for re-election, and they pumped... Um, was it three, you know, like three billion dollars into the failing stock of GM to try to keep it up? Guess what happened? What? Warren Buffett's people, the stock tanked and they lost four dollars on every share that they bought. Ah. Uh -huh. And it isn't okay. It, they, uh, the reason why the stock ever sold for thirty-three dollars a share to begin with was because the government bought the bloody shares. They've been selling them off. Every time they sell them off, the value of the company collapses even more. An export bank survives challenge from conservatives. Um, well, it's going to go because it's another means of Obama providing slush funds to foreign countries that he's trying to prop up as supporting. Mm. Excruciating details emerge on Jewish ghettos. Well, yeah. Uh, which, I thought there was not a whole lot that you can learn about the Polish ghetto, the Warsaw ghetto, and all of those things. That's it, okay. Go to the History Channel. Actually, go to the war, the war, uh, the military channel. They at least every few days they do something about the Jewish atrocities. <laughs> All you got to do is to go there, and you're bound to find the same information there because the same people that are turning out the new stuff turned out the stuff for the military channel a decade ago. And paying no attention to the pollster behind the curtain. I know they keep using this one. They love this one because of the fact that. Um, Bill, that's what Bill O'Reilly said. Well, even the other pollsters, I've been told the other pollsters are inaccurately reporting it. And all our reporters have got it right. Yeah, so basically they, they keep telling you can't trust the pollsters because the pollsters are delivering the information that people want unless, the, unless what happens is they go to an area that should be strongly in favor of the president because he's pissed them off on the gay rights issue. They're not supporting him anymore. But. Uh, don't worry. I love this. The majority, of the, he will win more black votes and he will win more Latino votes than will Mitt Romney. Yeah, but if Mitt Romney only got one vote and, and the president gets two, that's more. That's not what he needs to win the election. He counts on, he counts on the very liberal left, the, the minor uh, uh, X amount of Latino, X amount of a black vote in order to win the election. And it is over. That, they said that thing is shot down because um, Gary Johnson is not doing well as an independent. They thought it would be uh, Ron Paul that would be running, and Ron Paul could basically take 20 to 30 percent, but Ron Paul is more interested in shaping the Republican platform than running as the, um, as the independent this year. Mm -hmm. And missing boards from 9-11 Tribunal, CIA and big boy pants. I know. What, what in the world is that? Okay, it's got, the, okay, what's happening is, the Obama administration is leaking information about what's going on again. He, okay, this guy has to, okay, the problem is he endorsed gay marriage, which pissed off every Muslim in the whole universe. So it doesn't make any difference how much information he leaks to the Muslims about what we're doing. They're not going to love him.
Now I think he's past that step. Yeah. And a Monty Bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Hey, uh, I like this one. Those that can do, those that can't belittle everyone that, that can do. <laughs>